Okay, I have the VIC-20 out today, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to switch back and forth between NTSC and PAL modes, uh, or in either direction. Uh, so we're going to go from PAL, as you can see, which is currently uh, showing on the display, to NTSC. And let me just put the phone down here. Okay, so there we are. And as you can see, here's the VIC chip. And that's a 6561 and also the corresponding PAL kernel right there. And the multi-kernel, which currently in PAL mode, it's running the 07 version of the kernel, of the VIC-20 kernel. Okay, so I'm going to shut the machine off and just swap out the components so you can see how easy this can be done. I have a, a temporary header here on the crystal to be able to switch it back and forth. So this is the PAL crystal. It's kind of hard to see the lettering, but it's 4.4 megahertz. And we're going to swap in the NTSC crystal right here, which is 14 megahertz. And pop that into the little header right there. Make sure it's seated correctly. Okay. And we're going to pull out, carefully pull out the VIC chip. Palvic chip, and right here you can see the 6560 101. Uh, I have this marked as Vic Blue because this is kind of a unique chip. It has a little bit of a bluish border instead of the normal cyan. So uh, I kind of picked it because it looks cool and matches the border of the Vicky 20 or the. Uh, board of the Vicky 20 I should say okay so there's the Vic chip is in and the last step here is just to put the jumper on the multi kernel so now it switches to the 06 NTSC kernel and we're gonna go ahead and turn it on and hopefully there we go there we go adjust the crystal a tiny bit wasn't quite making contact and you can see that there's the NTSC version right there so it's actually that easy and it works pretty well now what makes this possible I believe is this chip right here uh, I had a seven, uh, 74 LS 02 in here for a UB9 and I had no luck at all with getting the video to sync up. Um, you know, sort of in free oscillation with the LS chip. And that was uh, on the NTSC. I understand it works for PAL. Uh, some folks have reported that the 74LS series works fine for PAL. It does not seem to work for NTSC. Uh, you'll also notice that those two resistors, the R5 and R6 right there, are 330 ohm resistors. Um, instead of the 470 uh, that's currently on the on the build but on, I think the option is going to be to use either um, and the values are pretty close so it may not make that much of a difference anyway there's the kernel uh, the multi kernel right there uh, and that's really about it as far as changing back and forth oh uh, also, you see three, right, where'd it go? Right there, okay. And there it is. You see three, I'm also using a 74F02, the same uh, chip that I'm using for UB9, right there. And I've also tested the SN74N's, O2N's, and those work fine. So it's basically just ELS chips, which I believe are the low power versions that I did not have any luck with. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short video, and uh, uh, let me know in the comments.